No, I never had no stories about the man I asked him, but um, I remember one time I was with a couple of my cousins. Um, yeah, we was coming from Tottenham. Tottenham's right next to Manor House. But Manor House is not in Tottenham. It's not in Harringay. It's technically Hackney Borough. You get me? The borders and the boroughs have to start and stop somewhere, in it. So, see, I'm from Edmonton. My cousins, them, is from Tottenham. But none of us are GMs. We're not in a gang these times. We're all, like, 14 years old. We got off the bus because we're going to one of our aunties' yards around the corner. We got off the bus. I swear that, you know that? Obviously, us got on the on, on the top deck in it. So we're going, we're getting off the bus and that. And my cousins jumped off the back doors as normal. Yeah. And there's a youth standing asking, where is he from? And that. To the point, the guy, the guy was so quick to get onto my cousin, I thought he knew him. Like, man, did he even waste no time from Like, her man was literally waiting for us and that. But he said, no, nah, get me, we're from Tottenham, whatever, innit? Yeah, we're going to see our auntie. And that's what man said, yeah, cool, innit? Like, um, that was one time then. And then, like, there was a next time. Um, I, can't remember, I can't remember why I was in Manor House. I wasn't even checking my auntie because it was during, like, 12 o'clock. Whatever, really. There's a bunch, I'm at the bus stop. And there used to be this place called a Manor Club or something like that, right on the corner. I'm ready to get the 259 to go through Tottenham and go back to Edmonton. And there's, like I said, there's a bunch of men to my left. Literally, it's like 15 of them. And a couple of them, man, they're just doing what they're doing, talking, in it. But there's just one guy just staring, waiting for you to look a bit too long, you know? Because you know, like when you're watching a man on street, yeah? You know, there's that period of time where it's like, Cool. If someone looks away or whatever, in it, yeah. but it's like there comes a time where it's like, all right, you're looking so hard now, yeah. Now it's gonna be a situation, and yeah. a man's just waiting for me to look that split second too long, then he's gonna say something. Anyway, man's just looking over, and I just see the glare in it. This guy is not going to look away. In fact, I'm not even in no position to be playing no stupid games, no standoff with man when he's with 15 man. You know what I'm saying? So man just looked away in that. Then um, this shoot was last. This shoot actually died, I think, you know. I heard this shoot actually passed away. I ain't gonna say his name in it. Anyway, I hear someone say, Hey, where are you from? Obviously, I know it ain't the old white woman next to me, is it? Yeah. So I'm like, Edmonton. Then he's called over to them, not because there's quite a, there's like I said, there's 15 there, but they're not standing like Sardi, they're not standing side by side, but they're near each other, really. They sh he shouted, Edmonton. And then that was all I heard, in it? Yeah. Then the bus came and I got on the bus, in it? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was the end of the story, boy. Luckily, isn't it? But I mean, if they wanted to get onto me, they would have just got onto me. They could have just easily ran up to me and tried to grab me off the bus and that. Literally. You'd be slipping, you go into your auntie's yard and you're slipping, fam. It wasn't like that back in the day. I chat to my older cousins who's like um like 40 years old. So them man there, no, we even older than that. They man are like 43. They got a solid 13, 14 years on me. And they told me before, like, blood, I don't know what's going on with you young people, uh, you youths and that, with your post-cold war team. This is back when man was all 17, 18 and that. He was like, us lot, we used to go everywhere and anywhere, literally. No, there was no jurisdiction or nothing like that. They said they used to know man in West man, East man, South man. Literally, they used to just make friends with man on the spot. Like, and these lot weren't no neat. They were just like, they were, they were road guys, but they weren't gang members. They were, they were road youths, but they weren't gang members. And literally, they all just go to a club or go to a house party in, in West London and that. Get chatting with a couple men, exchange one, two numbers with a couple men and that. Next thing you know, there's a party in South London. Then West London use a phone and say, yeah, let's go down to South. Innit? And you just make man. Yeah, you just make friends with man and that. Now, that ain't happening. Fam. That ain't happening. One of the reasons why all of my friends, that all, all the people then that I consider to be friends, all of them are from Edmonton. You know? I don't have no friends that are outside my area literally i don't have one friend i have friends who are from edmonton that they've moved up but originally all my friends are all from edmonton back in the day man that go up and that in london that they have friends this area that area this... no fam. all my friends are from edmonton i don't have one friend that's outside of edmonton that grew up outside of edmonton obviously all my friends in that more a few of them have moved out now and that, but all my friends are from edmonton because of that post called War thing, that error thing. You'll be, you, you've got, like I say, you're going to go and check your auntie and that, and you're slipping. How can you be slipping going to check your auntie, fam? Yeah, I'm not, get me, it's not like you're going to go and check a gal or whatever. 
You're going to check your auntie. You're going to check your friend. You're slipping. Go and check your Gaza next team. Blah. You go to a rave. You go to a rave. You get a girl's number. Oh, a house party back in the day. You go to get a girl's number and that. Get a number, boom, whatever, and you're chatting to her. You're like, where are you from? Or whatever. You probably established that anyway. Where are you from? She'll say, oh, I'm from Hackney and that. Right then, there, you're thinking it's long. But then when you're chatting to her on the phone, you're like, whereabouts in Hackney do you live? I live London Field. So you know you cannot go there, fam. fam you know about London Fields, but these girls will live right on the block, fam. You know you can't go to go and link this girl. She might have a free yard, fam, but that's off limits for you, fam. This is like going up in a postcard area. You can't even go to another area where you don't know anyone. Your area has nothing to do with the other area. But if you go there, and they're going to G-check you and move to you, fam. Just because you're from a different area. That has nothing to do with their area. There's no tension. There's no beef. You're just an outsider. This is not a walkthrough. Long. Back in the day, the man them that's like 40 years old, 45 years, they will go everywhere, everywhere and anywhere to go link a gang. Yeah, they'll pull up on, on estate and there's 10 men, but as long as they're not screwing the man there and they, get me, they ain't got no big chain and that. They're cool. I don't know what it's like now, fam, but I know back in my day, fam, you can't just be going to other areas and that. You can't be walking through other areas. You need to be catching a cab. Yeah, you need to have that girl have her front door open. <laughs> There's no hanging about, blood. Long. Long. Talking about catching cabs and that. That fucking dog. Talking about catching cabs and that. Blood, when I when I had my um in the job interview for Harringay Council, Homes Harringay, when when I checked the um the venue for the, the interview, I said, oh, bro, I had the, the the paper in front of me to say where I have to go to go for this job interview. I said, nah, that can't be the address. Broadwater Farm Estate. I'm like, nah. I found out the woman. I said, are you sure it's in Broadwater Farm? She said, yeah, that's where it is. I'm thinking, what? I've got a little, you get me? This is in Tottenham, first of all. And certain man, you get me? I ain't going to talk too much, but that's long, fam. I had to go to the job interview with a knife in my laptop, fam. Mother's life, fam. That's how, that's, how, that's how long it is. That's how long it was for me. Uh, just growing up in the ends, especially being from Edmund, going to Tottenham and that. Having to go to a job interview with a fucking kitchen knife or that. Mother's life, true story. I don't make up no stories anyway. 